look at these absolutely beautiful flowers that I just got from the supermarket. Absolutely stunning. I love them. They're so pretty. They smell gorgeous. Look at my tomatoes. I've got all of these. These ones down here. And we've got some more on here. And all these flowers will turn into tomatoes as well. And then we've got some more over here. And look at this. And then we've got some more down here. We've got loads. Okay, guys. So this is the new collection. You have to excuse this. This um, I'm going to keep this one because the label's gone a bit funny. Um, but anyway. Uh, as you can imagine, it's quite hard to stick this down. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Here is the new collection. And this is called Retreat. Now, Retreat is, as you know, the, the other collection is skincare. Now, Retreat is all about self-care, uh, relaxation, unwinding, de-stressing, and just taking some time out for yourself. So that's what this collection is about. So I wanted to come out with a range of products that could do just that, that you could have at home and just help you feel like you've got your own little spa at home. You're relaxing, you're de-stressing, and you're just taking some time out for yourself. So this is the collection. At the moment, we have five pieces. Um, so this one, the bottle might be a bit of a a mess doesn't seem too bad but anyway this is the one I'm using every single night so this is a pillow um a pillow mist so you can use it as a room mist and a linen mist so I use it I just do one spritz honestly when I tell you that this is super super scented I mean it it is so potent it is highly highly scented very concentrated when I first got this back from the team that had created it for me um, obviously I told them everything that I wanted, all the specifications and everything. I couldn't believe how strong this was. So normally with a room spray, I, let me show you. So I've got this bottle, um, I'm in the bedroom right now, um, if you can guess. Um, and I've got this bottle, which is absolutely humongous, but anyway, and usually if I was going to spray, I do quite a few sprays if I'm spraying the room, if I'm spraying the curtains, the bedding. I do quite a few sprays around the room, okay? And obviously you can smell it and it smells nice and everything. But let me tell you, when I got this back from the team, I was spraying it how I would normally spray this huge bottle here. And it was so strong. It was so potent. And I was thinking, oh my gosh. And I nearly, I was so close to contacting the team and asking them to make it a little bit less scented. Can you believe it? I was almost going to say to them, guys, look, it's too strong. I think the dog's a bit honest. Or Buster, at least. Um, anyway, so I was a bit worried. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I think it's too strong. And then I thought, hang on a minute. How can it be too strong? That's ridiculous. Obviously, I've just, it's very potent. It's highly scented. All I need to do is just spray it a little bit less. So literally, I tried again with just one spray Honestly, it fills the room. I am not joking. It is so strong. So you literally just need one spray of this on your pillow, on your bed, whatever, in the room. And the room smells amazing. So this scent is lavender. And I started, I started with lavender because I wanted to have it be a relaxing, you know, just to fit in with the, the theme of the collection. And I thought lavender, everybody knows that it is the most relaxing scent um, and I just thought it worked really well because then you can use it as a pillow mist and you know for your bedroom and everything like that so I keep this in my room and I spray it every single night one spray um, you, it's only a small bottle because it's so highly concentrated it will last such a long time because you're literally doing one spray honestly that's all you need honestly 
<laughs> it seems ridiculous because if I was doing any other fabric freshener or pillow mist, I would definitely do more than one spray, but honestly, that's all you need for this. There will be more scents coming, but I just wanted to start with lavender um, just, just to kind of get on the relaxing thing, but there'll be others. Um, just as a general room mist and linen mist, I thought it'd be nice to kind of have fresh scents that you could spray your clothes with uh, before you get ready in the morning so that all your clothes smell amazing. Um, so yeah, many more scents to come. So there's that. Uh, next up is this. Now this is the bath bomb um, with this kind of crazy label on it. What I will do is I'll include some more pictures of this. Um, kind of open and all of that um, but this is amazing so this is coconut and mango um, and it smells amazing it's got a musk in here as well it makes the water so so soft it's also massive I don't know if you can tell but it is absolutely huge it's a really really big bath bomb um, it makes the water super soft it even foams up a little bit as well so you get some bubbles in there um, it makes your skin so soft and it's again really really highly scented all of this stuff's really potent um, and really concentrated so it's really really amazing ignore my nail it actually broke that bit there is actually where it's broke and all I can see is dog hairs and I don't know how they've, how they've got on here anyway um, so yeah so I absolutely love this as well and to go with the bath balm we've also got another product that's amazing in the bath this is a body scrub so this is a again it's the exact same scent so we've got coconut and mango with the musk as well um, and then this has got the apricot oil in and it makes your skin so so soft you've got the strawberry seeds in here as well so it's all natural um strawberry seeds really amazing to boost circulation get rid of all the dead skin it's great on cellulite and stretch marks and things like that and again it makes your skin so soft and it really foams. It's honestly the creamiest, foamiest body scrub that I've ever used. It really is. And my husband will kind of, I don't know, touch my leg or something when we're watching TV and go, oh, your skin feels really soft. And I'm like, yeah, I've just used the body scrub. It's so, so good. And he, even he started using this. So that's a very good sign. But these two, you can get them in a duo as well, um, which is great. Or obviously you can get them on their own. But I just love that they go really well together. They're the same scent so that you can put this in your bath and then use this afterwards. And then you've kind of got double, you know, a double whammy of scent, basically. That double layer on your skin. And it's just amazing. Um, and then this one. Ooh. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to say that till last. This. Let's talk about this. So these are some wax melts. I decided to do wax melts because they're really popular. Everybody loves them. I love them. Um, but I find that some of them are a little bit tacky, a little bit, you know, I'm not I'm not into the bright pinks and the bright greens and all the different things like that. So I wanted the whole collection to be white. As you can see, there's a theme here. Um, and so we've got white wax melts, just plain white because they're very crisp. Honestly, these hairs are getting on my nerves. Um, but very crisp, very clean looking. And this particular scent is clean cotton. Um, many more scents to come. But again, I just wanted something that smelt fresh, clean, um, and just helps you just to feel good and, and feel relaxed and happy. And you know that feeling when you've cleaned your house and you've done the laundry and everything smells clean and fresh. That's what I wanted it to smell like. So this will fill your home. Again, very scented, uh, highly scented, very concentrated. Um, and you've got five snaps in here. So it's a snap bar and you just break them off and you've got five wax melts and they're massive. If you can see there, once you break this off, um, it's actually huge. So it lasts a long time as well. And then another home fragrance. I'm so excited about this one. This is, it's got a lid on it, so it can't open. Um, but this is the reed diffuser. So you've got 10 sticks, which is loads. Um, wrapped up little bow um, and then you've got your glass reed diffuser oil in here in this glass jar bottle whatever you want to call it which I absolutely love and I don't know if you've noticed but the logos changed slightly we've added this leaf it didn't used to have the leaf in but I wanted it to kind of fit with the brand so I worked with um, I worked with someone new 
and um, they helped me come up with this new logo which I absolutely love and then we've added retreat because it's part of the retreat collection so all of the retreat products have the retreat logo on so slightly different um, but this is amazing so this is in rose scent again many more scents to come but I started with rose because you guys know I love fruity and I love floral so this is a fruity floral scent which I absolutely love and again it kind of smells a bit like fresh laundry again um if you guys uh have heard of the rose wonderland kind of scented um cleaning products so the detergents and the washing powders all of that it was kind of inspired by that because i love that scent and i love rose anyway and I, again i wanted the house to feel crisp and fresh and clean um, and just that give that feeling of I've cleaned the house, I've I've done everything and everything's clean and fresh and now I can relax. Even if you haven't actually done it, it will smell like that. So we've started with the rose and there will be many more scents to come as well. I know not everybody likes sweet and floral scents, um, but I've started with that because that's what I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, so that's the collection. Many more bits and pieces to come, but this is what we've started with, the five piece set. If you're following the Instagram, you've probably already seen it, or um, you know, you might have seen the, the website recently, so you've seen them on there. You can buy it as a collection. Uh, if you buy the skincare bundle, you actually get the whole collection free. So if you buy the whole of the skincare um, in either oily skin or normal to dry skin, you will get all of this completely free. You can obviously buy them individually or you can buy them all together as the retreat collection um, and get a discount as well. So either way, there's discounts all round, but I absolutely love it and I'm so, so, so excited. And I will include a few pictures in here as well so you can see, but I'm absolutely loving it and I'm so excited and I can't believe I've not shown you yet when it's been out for a few weeks and I'm really annoyed about this label, but like I said, um, that will be mine anyway. But anyway, what do we think? Mr. Fee, but it is fine. Good, Elise. Good, Elise. Come on. Come on. Elise. Come on.
I'm now in the salon and I'm going to make myself a coffee after that workout because I've not had one yet this morning. So let's get going. Ready for the day ahead. So I've also got to pack some orders this morning. Packing some customers orders. We are done for the day um, and now I need to clean up. on our way to a restaurant going for a meal and then we are going to hopefully go to a, a park and also play some crazy golf I've got my bag ready love this still using it a lot I've got one of my favorite little dresses on shirt dress nice and just pretty but they're, ca they're kind of smart casual I find um, really like them just got my hair up today in the ponytail I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. Don't roll. No. Stay right there. Yes. Mark. Good morning everyone. So I'm part way through getting ready um, and I've just come down to make myself a coffee and I thought I'd quickly say hello because the house is going to get noisy soon because we're going out and um, going for another day out. Yesterday we went for a meal. I didn't film it um, because it was a family meal um, so I didn't want to film that we had you know we were visiting family um, and then we as you saw played crazy golf we went off on our own then afterwards my hair's honestly I mean I will sort it out <laughs> uh, I've, I've yeah it needs sorting but anyway then we went um, yeah we played, we played crazy golf we played badminton we went to the park which was lovely so you saw a little snippet of that um, I feel like this is moving um, is it? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, you saw a snippet of that. It's definitely moving. And um, yeah, so I just thought I'd quickly come on. Glenn's taking the dogs out. So I'm like, while it's quiet-ish, let me just quickly say hello and let you know what's going on. So we are going out today. Um, it's beautiful there. It's set on like 1,200 acres or something. It's got a huge lake. It's got this huge manor house. Um, it's got an adventure playground, we're going to have a picnic, it's really beautiful over there, so we're going up there. Um, so that's why I'm wearing my little pretty dress. 
I think I've only worn this twice this year. I mean, I bought it this year, so I've only ever worn it twice, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I wore it on holiday, so you may remember it from there. And then I wore it um, to the Jubilee garden party that we were invited to. Um, but yeah, I've not worn it, so I thought this is it's a lovely summer's day. We're having a picnic. I feel like it's the right vibes for that. Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow we're going on another day out. Um, we're just trying to cram it all in because it says the weather's going to turn um, right before they go back to school. The last few days leading up, the weather's going to turn. So we're trying to just do things while we can, um, while it's nice. So yeah, so tomorrow we're going out as well to a it's a country park. It's kind of got this like man-made beach, um, huge lake surrounded by sand. Um, but then there is grass as well, so you can kind of sit up on the grass and the kids can play on the sand and then go in the water. It's really lovely and you can swim and there's um, boats, boat trips and paddle boarding and pedalos and all sorts of things. It's really lovely and again picnics and, and all of that. It's got a lovely cafe, so we're going to do that tomorrow. So yeah, we're very busy um, doing lots of different things. The meal yesterday, I was a little bit disappointed actually because it wasn't as nice as I was hoping. Um, I was really, I was really like, oh, <laughs> um, but never mind. Um, you know, I didn't want to say that I didn't really like it because, you know, it was a little treat for, from some family members. But um, yeah, I was, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, yeah, never mind. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to make my coffee and then I need to sort my hair out. I basically, as you can see, put my clippings in, but not styled it so I've literally just quickly whacked them in ran downstairs to make my coffee and quickly film and clean the kitchen I just thought while the dogs aren't here let's um because they're really noisy in the mornings I think while they've been asleep all night in the morning it's just manic Stanley's like hyper wants to play with Buster and they're really quite loud they just run around the house run around the garden being really noisy so it's a bit manic so now they're out I thought let's get it done now um but yeah, I hope you're all well. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, need to sort this out. Don't worry, I will show you when it's done. I just quickly clip them in and run downstairs. Anyway, I will catch up with you later. I'm gonna have a hyaluronic acid this morning. We have another tomato. So apparently you're supposed to pluck these while they're still Kind of light um and then let them ripen indoors so that's what i'm going to do if you're wondering what this is it's that foil uh sorry copper tape to stop the slugs getting in the pots um but yeah we've got another one Ooh. what are you doing dilly what's he dilly dilly what's he dilly
Good evening everyone. So I kind of sorted the hair up, not really. Um, it did look all right, but I feel like my hair just gets so messy so quickly. But anyway, um, this is pretty much the finished look. Um, so yes, we just got back and we had a lovely, lovely time. And um, yeah, it's it's great there. It's called Bowood House and Gardens. Um, and it's just lovely. So yeah, so we had a great time. I actually bumped into one of my my best friend actually from school, which was lovely. Um, and yeah, it was great. So before we went there, I bought this. Um, and I wasn't filming in the shop, so I didn't get to show you, but I bought this and I love it. Look at the pot, it's all textured. I think it's lovely. My nails are fresh. I think I did them, yeah, I did them yesterday. Um, but yeah, they are so pretty. I've got a thing for white flowers. So in the house, all the flowers are white. Like that's my rule, white flowers only, um, pretty much. Um, and then in the garden, I like pink flowers and maybe purples, pink, purples and whites. Really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that I bought about five days ago now, but they're looking a little bit dead dying like the roses are a little bit brown um and yes we've got some more white roses in here um and i'll probably plant them out into the garden because i did that before um and they look so pretty they're doing really well in a massive pot in the garden but um i just love this i thought the pot was lovely i think it's really pretty anyway we had fun on our day out um and i wanted to do a little catch up as well because we went somewhere and I didn't mention it. Yes, so yesterday, yesterday morning, um, I completely forgot to reference it or anything because we came home, I came home and then went back out again. So I didn't mention it, but as you saw, I did a workout and do you know what? This morning, I am so achy all down here, my shoulders, everything is really like, really achy it's crazy because when you watch someone working out it doesn't look that bad when you're doing it it actually didn't feel too bad at the time but yeah I'm really 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 aching today so I went to the gym first did a workout before the class that's why it was just me and Glenn um so I didn't join in, in the class and then I went across to the salon afterwards um and then I was in there for a bit so that's what I was doing um yesterday morning before we then went out um so that was great, but yeah, I am definitely aching. But honestly, it's the first time I've been to the gym for quite some time, for a few weeks. So um, I needed it. <laughs> I definitely needed it. Um, anyway, as well as my lovely plant, I have bought a few little bits as well, so I just thought I would show you. So first of all, let me show you some bits that I ordered in. Again, wherever I get my, whenever I get my 
beauty products, hair, makeup, whatever, it's usually from the same kind of place. Um, my all time favorite place to shop. So I will leave the link below. But I got some more of this. I'm still loving this. I just find it so convenient. It's got the perfect amount of product in it. And I love the fact it's only going on my roots. So you can probably see I've got little, some greys there. Can you see that little patch? Um, but it's only going on my roots. I don't have to put it all over my hair because I'm trying to kind of get my hair back to how it once was when I was a child, basically, because it's been trashed over the years. So only putting the chemicals on the roots is perfect because the chemicals, sorry, the roots are fresh hair, um, untouched, undamaged, um, and they're just perfect. So I love, love, love this. And I've mentioned it a few times now, but I've, I think this is the third one. Um, fourth I think it's third but I absolutely love it and I will continue to use it I just love the fact I don't have to dye all of my hair and kind of damage it and ruin it so I've got some more of that and then I also got some more mascara that's not mascara um I bought some concealer um and this is the Maybelline Fit Me it's cheap and cheerful does the job um I do prefer the Magic Eraser one um this is like my second favorite I would say actually I really liked the um Revolution one I really like the wand on that. I do like it and it's creamy. Anyway, okay, this is like top three, I would say. Um, but yeah, so I bought that in shade 20. I don't think it has a name, just shade 20. So it's quite light. I've got it on now, um, but it's nice and, you know, gives me a little fresh look. So I like that. Um, oh yes, if you saw my nail, polish review of the Sally Hansen nail polish. I was absolutely gutted that it's terrible, um, as in it chips too easily. But I love it. I really love it. I love the application. It's really, it applies really, really nicely. It dries super, super quick, doesn't smudge. And I really like it. The downside for me, massive downside, was the fact that it does chip literally within two days and it's really annoying. Um, but I did say in that video, as long as you get a decent top coat, you shouldn't have an issue. So. I did buy Sally Hansen again, I just thought we'll go with the same brand. Um, and this is the Double Duty Base and Top Coat. I'll be honest, I don't usually use a base coat, but you should do because it discolours your nails when you don't use a base coat. They can go kind of yellowy. And these are my natural nails, so they're very long. Um, and yeah, these go in yellow, doesn't look great. So it's a base and a top coat. So hopefully this on top of this will prolong them um, even if it's just a week, I'm happy for, for you know, for, for a one week's worth um, of polish um, before I have to redo them. I'll be happy with that. So I got that as well, same place. Um, and then basically I've done multiple shops in multiple places and whatever. Um, and then I got a couple of bits for the house in the high street today. Bought some more of this, I love this stuff. This is just, I don't know, like one pound 50 or something um, for the carpet, it smells so good and it's in pink blush and it's by Floella. Um, and they do the concentrated, basically their version of Sephora, which I don't really, they're not that very strong, but this is strong, this is really good um, carpet foam. And then I've got this huge Sephora Springtime, which isn't my favorite scent. I like Midnight Blooms, um, but they didn't have Midnight Blooms in a huge one. So I've got this massive bottle, which is, I don't even know how, how many mils it is, 500 huge um, so that should last quite a while um and then i got myself some cheap and cheerful beauty products so let me show you what i got okay so i and i'm doing a separate review on this just to see how how we get on with it so if you want to see the results check out that review so it might be quite a fun thing to do so i bought three different types of wax strips, cheap ones, um, two of the same brand beauty formulas but they're different um, and one is by Supermax, very cheap but I thought I would try them out and then I thought I could um, do a quick review and just see what it's like, um, see if they actually work or not, I thought that might be quite fun. So that's going to be in a separate video, by brow waxing on a budget, maybe I'll call it that actually, that's quite good. Um, then I bought some more little cheap bits and pieces. So these are both the same brand called Sunkist, which I'd never, I've only ever seen it in that shop. I think it's Savers, um, but obviously they probably sell it online. I'll have a look and see if I can find anything. But 
they sell it in there. I really like that shop because they just have got everything. And years ago when I was a teenager, we didn't have it in the town that I lived. Um, I used to think it was just big places that had it. I don't know. And I used to get the train um, to the next big town, Bath. Um, it's actually a city, but you know what I mean? And um, I used to go to Savers there. I used to love it. I used to spend all my money in there, buying all my beauty products, my makeup and my skincare and all my hair products. And I absolutely loved it. That's pretty much spent all my money in there. And then that was it. Go and get lunch and come home. Wander around the clothes shops, but not actually buy anything. Um, so yeah, and then I'd not shopped in one for years. And then one came to the town that I live in now. And now I'm popping in there all the time just to get little bits and pieces. Anyway, it's usually things like the cleaning products that I just showed you and just random little bits and pieces. Um, you know, and things like cotton pads for the face and I don't know, just random little bits and pieces. But I saw these today and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna try it, I'm gonna go for it. So, it's by Sunkist. Um, and this is a mascara, I needed a new mascara and I'd planned on <laughs> doing an online shop. And then I saw this and I was like, I'm just gonna try this. It probably won't be very good because I think it was like two pound 50. Um, so I'm not expecting a miracle here. However, they did have the wand on display and I thought the wand actually looked quite good. Considering it's a cheap mascara, the wands are usually terrible. So I thought I'd try it out. And actually it's not as bad as I thought. It's what I'm wearing now. Mascara is always terrible when you first buy it actually because it's watery and you know, you've got to wait for it to thicken up, which is what I always say. And you have to excuse the patchy brows because I haven't filled them in today. Because I've just been wearing sunglasses all day so I haven't needed to, kind of had makeup on. Um, like my brows done and whatever. So I applied this mascara when I got home. Just out of curiosity. But actually, it's not bad, is it? Whether or not it, you know, removes easily or smudges, or I don't know what it might do. But I just thought, you know, it was literally a few pounds. And I really like the wand. It, the wand curves. It's got a nice curve on it. So there's that, and it doesn't really smell. Some mascara stink, like it doesn't smell. It actually smells quite nice. Then, so the next thing I bought is a cheek and lip tint. Again, I hadn't even seen this before. Um, I liked it because it said it's got vitamin E, and I, I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, I've got it on my cheeks now, um, and I took it out with me. So basically, I popped into town, popped into the high street, and then we went out straight after. So I just threw this in my bag. Um, in the car, I quickly put some on my cheeks because I didn't have any makeup on today at all, nothing. Um, did this one when I came home, did this when I came home. So when I was out, I just put this on. I didn't have anything else on my face. So I've not contoured or anything like that. Um, got no foundation on, I never wear that anyway. But anyway, so when I was out, I just had my sunglasses on and I thought I would try this. And I applied it and I thought it looked really nice. Um, I didn't have a mirror or anything. I was just looking in my phone, in the camera. And my husband and my daughter were like, I said, oh, does it look nice? And they were like, no. And Glenn was like, looks like you've eaten a bag of Doritos, <laughs> orange tangy cheese Doritos. And my daughter was like, yeah, it looks, it just looks weird, it's bright orange, it just doesn't look good. I was like, right. Um, and I was like, how? And I was looking at my phone like, it looks nice. And they were like, it doesn't. <laughs> um, so I think I'd put too much on. So I'm gonna try it again, but just a little bit. Cause I think I'd, I think, I thought this was like a brown shade. I don't know but apparently it's orange. So, again, I think that's too much. That's the colour on the back of my finger. Yeah, that's the colour of it there. But yeah, this is too much again. On camera though, it's not too bad. And it's like really creamy, but it does dry down. But I think if I had, see now I've dabbed a little bit off. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's too bad at all. Um, but I'm going to ignore Glenn because he's singing to the dogs and we're going to pretend we can't hear him. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that bad, but apparently it looks like I've eaten Doritos, so. But I said, it's probably you're just not used to seeing me wearing this colour lipstick. But I think for summer, I think it's quite nice. And I quite like it on the cheeks as well. But do you know what? I've not actually looked in an actual mirror. I st I've still only looked on camera, so it might look completely different. Um, the lashes look quite good as well, actually, don't they? Not bad. 
So I'm quite pleased with those items. They did have this in a pinky shade, which I should have got, but I'm just not really a pink lip person. So I thought I'd go with this one, but yeah, maybe I should have gone with the other one. So I don't know. So there we are. What do we think? So that's me today. Busy bee, shopping, online shopping, online deliveries, going out, various things going on, bumping into friends from school. What do we think? I quite like it. Hair's a bit of a mess. I need to get some more hair actually. Um, but I'm excited. What I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to do an overnight mask using the um, Hyaluronic Acid set um, by L'Oreal, the one that I'm loving at the moment. I'm going to do an overnight mask with that and then apply this in the morning. The great thing about this is it's just the roots, meaning that you can, I think, I can get away with just applying the mask to the, the, the ends, the tips, and then this should be all right to be applied in the morning, hopefully. If it was an all over dye, I wouldn't apply a hair mask because it's kind of gonna block the dye. Um, but I think I can get away with it. So I'm gonna do overnight mask ends and then dye my roots in the morning and then we're going out. And at some point I need to do my wax strips, probably this evening. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a, you know, little wispy bits on the upper lip as well. Um, but yes. I'm drinking my coffee before it goes cold. Good morning, everyone. In the kitchen again. Um, my hair is in an overnight mask. Um, so I'll be washing that out and then I'm going to dye it, dye the roots this morning before we head out today. Today is bank holiday Monday, so it's been a busy weekend because it's been bank holiday weekend and we've just been really busy doing lots of different things. So today is actual bank holiday Monday. And so yeah, we're going out again on another day out, um, which I'm very excited about, the dogs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have my hyaluronic acid. I'll leave the link. Um, and I honestly, I highly recommend this. When I run out of this, my joints, if you get any kind of joint pain, joint, um, discomfort just anything you need to try this because i was having glucosamine for years honestly i didn't really notice much different it was a bit like oh i'm taking it i'm not sure if it make if it's making a difference i think it is i don't know but i'll take it anyway because it's supposed to work but i i didn't really feel the difference started taking hyaluronic acid because that adds moisture to the body i'm just saying if the camera's moving um, yeah, so hyaluronic acid adds moisture to the body um, and basically lubricates the joints as well as everything else. It lubricates everything, so it adds moisture to everything. Um, and obviously lubricating your joints means that there's less discomfort if you've got inflamed joints or joints that some joints don't have enough lubricant on them and so they rub together and that causes pain and discomfort and things like that so i do get painful joints um and honestly when i take hyaluronic acid it's the only thing that's worked um which is kind of crazy because a lot of people will take this for beauty purposes and it works for that as well obviously it's all in my skincare because it adds moisture so it adds moisture to the skin plumps up the skin hydrates the skin and all that um but it also hydrates on the inside, um, your connective tissues, everything. Um, it's amazing. You need to look it up if you don't know about it. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, when I run out, it, my joints start to hurt again. And I'm like, hang on. It takes about one to two weeks. So if I haven't replaced it in that time, I'd start to notice it again. And that's what was happening. They were starting to hurt. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to get some more of this. And that's how I know it works. It, it just works like I don't really know what else to say it really really does work so if you get any joint pain try hyaluronic acid honestly and like I said I'll leave the link but I just love it take it every day and 
I need to get into a routine of topping it up before it runs out because I let it run out and then I'm like, oh, I'll get some more and then I don't because I don't, in my brain, it's not like a priority, but it is really because then I end up in pain. So it works. And I look quite like a bottle as well. It's quite, it's quite pretty. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just thought I would show that, that I am still having it. I've got my beloved Lion King cup. <laughs> Anyway, busy day, let's get cracking. So today we are off to the Cotswolds and we are going to a country park and beach. Very exciting.
like money to make.